Hello, you're listening to Dan, the weekly podcast about how good structure at work simplifies our work days. I'm David Stjernholm and let me assure you, for someone who gives talks about structure, this autumn is busy. The last weeks I have delivered talks to the prominent insurance company Moderna, to the Swedish Medical Products Agency, to the University of Arts, Crafts and Design in Stockholm and to renowned building company Arcona. And I had a great time on all four occasions, I must say. If you want me to come to your work to talk about how you can make your workdays become smoother, just email me at david at stjörnhamn.com and I'll send you a quotation. And now to today's episode that is about how to more easily get things done that we struggle with. Have you noticed how we tend to do the tasks that are fun, easy and enjoyable rather than those that are more difficult, demanding and necessary when we're not feeling great? This strategy might work on occasion, but it is not the best way to go in the long run. In a similar way, we tend to take the bull by its horns and do that difficult task needing to get done without complaining on days when we feel good. It seems that this correlation holds true. The researchers Takei, Quidbach and Desai conducted a study in 2016 titled Hedonism and the Choice of Everyday Activities, from which they concluded that when we are not feeling great, we tend to choose to do things that make us feel better, immediately and short term. And when we are feeling good, we tend to do things that might not be that pleasant in the short run, but which are valuable to us in the long run. I find these results very intriguing, so allow me to somewhat boldly apply them to our everyday lives. Something I personally tend to feel reluctance towards is doing something in a completely new way, meaning establishing a new habit. The threshold to doing how we usually do things is so much lower, and it is tempting to just go ahead and fall back into old tracks. But if we do what we can to feel good first, it will be easier to accept and implement the new method and hence faster achieve what we aim for when deciding to establish the habit in the first place, which in this case is to refine our structure. Believe it or not, but Christmas is here soon. Then quite a few of us will get some time off. If you're not included, I'm sure that you have an alternative break coming up in the foreseeable future. Perhaps this is the perfect opportunity to do the things that make us feel good and which we might not have time or the opportunity to do when our hectic everyday lives spin at top speed. Do this. If you want to, decide to implement a new structure habit when you get back after the Christmas holidays. Take a few minutes right now, well before Christmas, to think about what activities or things that make you feel good and which you could do during your vacation. Things that will genuinely lift your spirits. I have an idea. Make a list. Personally, I like doing the following to increase my well-being. For example, sleeping, getting up early and staying up really late. So I will do all of those, but not on the same night. And eating a number of different dishes, but not to the extent that I feel overly full and bloated. And exchange ideas and have long conversations with someone I care for. And build things that are fun and or somehow useful. And read carefully selected books and watch movies I have wanted to see for a long time. And being active outside on sunny days and taking naps in the afternoons and many other things. During the Christmas holidays, do what you need to and feel good doing. But only if you want and need it. Be careful not to make this into another project and start checking items off this list of well-being enhancing activities. Instead of simply enjoying them. If all goes well and you use the time you have over Christmas to do things you enjoy, you will feel lighter and happier when you get back to work than you feel right now. If we are to trust the results indicated in the study, you might feel more prone to get cracking on those somewhat strenuous things that are not fun right now but which will benefit you in the long run, such as implementing your new structure habit when you get back to work in a good mood. What are some of your favorite things to do when you have time off that always rejuvenates you and make you return to work with a smile on your face and filled with energy? Please share. I'm always looking for more ideas on how we can make life easier and more enjoyable. And you will reach me at david at stjernholm.com as always. Thank you for listening to this episode of Done and welcome back next week.